All right, so kind of a more useful uh, iteration of this is the Merrifield synthesis. And so the main thing that this does is it uses some kind of polymer support. So that's what's indicated right here. And the main thing about this poly polymer support is that it's insoluble. And so we're going to build our polypeptide attached to this polymer support. And the reason that it's really important that it's insoluble is that what we can do in the intermediate steps is that we can wash off any byproducts. So we don't have to worry about this buildup of a huge amount of byproducts. So can wash off byproducts between steps. Right, and so what we've got here, right, is the amino acid that we want to attach. Note that one uh, side is still protected, so we have that bot group there. And so then we first attach our first amino acid, so we'll call that AA1. And then we do the deprotection. After you do the deprotection, you're then good to you add on your second amino acid. So that would be, you know, AA2. Use your DCC to make this polypeptide bond right, deprotect, and then uh, add on another amino acid, and so on and so on. This is the same thing, just right, just kind of a little bit of a cleaner picture there. Again, right, you have your amino, or you have your um, insoluble polymer support. You start adding your uh, amino acids with their protecting groups. You deprotect the amino acid, and then add on another amine. As you can see, this is a very iterative step. Um, however, due to the fact that we're using this insoluble polymer, it's relatively easy to do and so easy that we can actually automate it. So this whole process can be done by instrumentation. So we don't have to pay a chemist to sit there and do this uh, reaction again and again and again. So in this case, this is, these are called peptide synthesizers. Right, so they make peptides, not music. Um, overall, we can use these kind of synthesizers for other applications, but they're only useful for uh, relatively simple reactions that have been very well investigated. Uh, anything novel, they can't really do, and there's always kind of a bunch of hiccups. Um, but overall, it shows you know kind of cool application of uh, you know technology.